Hey guys, welcome back to DeFi Sky. My name is Sky, and today I'm going to be talking all about DeFi kingdoms and more specifically why I am extremely bullish on DeFi kingdoms. And we're also going to be discussing if it's too late, if you have missed the boat, missed the train, whatever the phrase is. Obviously, this is a DeFi game built on the blockchain, designed with usable NFTs. So before I want to talk specifically about DeFi Kingdoms, I kind of want to talk about the total addressable market of the project, which is something I like to do. So we're dealing with actually a combination of different sectors here. You know, crypto at large, obviously, DeFi and then metaverse and NFTs. The total crypto market cap today is over $2.3 trillion. And then the DeFi, which is a subsector, is $249 billion. And then NFTs represent $50 billion. And that is going to be growing every single day. Um, and then leading blockchain game Axie Infinity um, is probably worth around $10 billion, which, you know, if you ask anyone name a crypto game, they're probably going to say Axie Infinity. But I strongly believe that DFK, DeFi Kingdoms, has the potential to overtake Axie. And we're going to talk about it. So yeah, I'm so bullish on it because it is properly positioned at the forefront of an emerging mega trend, and that is the metaverse. Uh, to date, there hasn't really been a blockchain game that is both highly successful and achieved mass adoption while operating across multiple blocks. Um, so there's definitely a gap in the market there. There's a vacancy that is worth many billions that is just asking to be occupied. You know, I think the market is becoming a little bit oversaturated with DeFi projects with no no real ostensible function outside of liquidity farming um, for ever diminishing rewards. You know, too many metaverse games are in the works that are already sitting on billions of dollars and yet have yet to produce anything, you know? So these previous points lead us to this conclusion that there's way too much liquidity now looking for a home and not enough good places to park that liquidity. Uh, that is where DFK comes in. Uh, DeFi Kingdoms has introduced NFT functionality, and that's a first in the space and broadened the definition of what an NFT is, you know, not just a very expensive JPEG. Uh, the team is delivering and has great communication with the community. And, you know, sometimes the team really does make or break. You know, you can have a very good community, but if you don't have a good team, you know, the project does not have legs. Uh, the roadmap is massively ambitious, with plans for Kingdom Warfare and PvP guilds facing off across blockchains. And that's a really interesting component, you know, across blockchains. Another reason why I'm very bullish is the token economics are brilliantly planned and executed with the help of former Goldman Sachs VP Dreamer DFK. You know, there's a lot of people that believe that every major game is kind of broken right now and that DeFi Kingdoms has the solution. And they definitely are very innovative. Um, so let's have a look at the, you know, the, this innovation. Instead of buying an NFT just because of, you know, what's sort of being called NGU technology, meaning number go up technology, you know, NFTs inside DeFi Kingdoms have real utility. So if we take a look at the first class of NFTs, perhaps the most exciting, and that is the heroes. Uh, so what we're seeing here is a Snapchat of the tavern where you can buy, sell, or even rent heroes, which is very interesting. I haven't seen that in any other game. Uh, each hero is unique in his or her own DNA that comes right from the blockchain. Heroes have the following properties. They have a primary and secondary class, a generation and a current level of experience, a number of summons, so that is the ability to create more heroes, you know, mint more heroes. Um, they have HP, MP, stamina, and a rarity from common to mythic, obviously common being the least valuable and mythic being the most valuable and the most powerful. Uh, they have eight stats, uh, one or two with bonuses, and four professions. Uh, only one speciality, a lineage that you can view on the Harmony blockchain, because that it started off on the Harmony block blockchain, but is going to be moving to AVAX. We'll get to that in a second. And again, this is all well and good, but other games, you know, they do have heroes too. The difference though with uh, DeFi Kingdom's heroes is the massive amount of utility that they have now and that they will have on the roadmap. And the team has been very good at, you know, hitting all their their stops along the roadmap, so they have proved themselves to be um, 
not only innovative, but also dependable. Uh, so for example, if you own a hero, uh, here are some of the things that you can do right now. You can go on these profession quests and earn skill points. So that would be fishing or foraging. You can also collect items, which are another form of currency. You can um, use heroes to summon other heroes. Um, I think that part is particularly cool. And of course, you can sell or trade your heroes. You can level up uh, your experience points to increase your stats and stamina. You know, a lot of this, you know, you'll be used to if you're any sort of experienced gamer. And soon, they're going to be doing more functions. Soon, you'll be able to mine with your heroes, which will unlock jewel rewards. Uh, you will be able to send your heroes to the garden to increase your farming rewards. Um, you can equip, you'll be able to equip your heroes with other NFTs. So not only is your hero an NFT, you know, every item that it has, say a sword or a shield will also be an NFT. Uh, you can hatch pets for your heroes. That's pretty cute. And you can, you'll be able to engage in PVP battles and join a guild and eventually take on more difficult quests to earn even more powerful rewards and items. So like I say, they originally launched on the Harmony blockchain. Uh, the token that is core to their game is called Jewel. Uh, Jewel can be staked in the bank and a portion of every Jewel transaction is used to increase the value of XJewel, uh, which is what stakers hold. XJewel is also the governance token that also provides juicy drops from time to time, such as land, uh, equipment and other rewards. So the first expansion is actually coming imminently, uh, Q1 of this year. Uh, this will extend DFK to the Avalanche blockchain. The Avalanche blockchain is becoming more and more popular, especially for NFTs. I personally think it is the true Ethereum killer. So yeah, I mean, also keep in mind that AVAX is an order of magnitude larger than Harmony One. So when this happens, we could see a massive inflow of new users. Because I think, you know, people, we're such creatures of habit, you know? If we've invested in more things on AVAX, we're just like, yeah, I, I know how to work AVAX. Even though they all work kind of similarly, we just like to, to stay in what we know and what we're used to. And yeah, more people use AVAX. So obviously some people might be concerned that this new launch will dilute the value of Jewel, uh, but it's actually wrong. So when the game launches on AVAX, there will be a new token called Crystal uh, with a reward schedule that will probably look like the Jewel reward system. But the twist is that Crystal will be rewarded to current Jewel holders. So and that means all the Jewel that's going to be on AVAX will have to be literally bridged over from Harmony Chain. In other words, the supply will stay fixed at 500 million tokens. So if 10x new users show up, and the, the supply of Jewel stays constant, we're looking at a completely inelastic supply, meeting a massive surge in demand. So, you know, economics 101, that is a bullish signal. While we're on the topic of Jewel, the Jewel reward system, the developers built in a very interesting and clever mechanism that ensures that long-term holders, early adopters, and enthusiasts will be the most heavily rewarded and incentivized. So take a look at this chart, which shows the unlock schedule of LP rewards in DFK. What you'll notice is that early adopters gain the most rewards, but those rewards start off mostly locked up. Uh, over time, total rewards are lower, but the mix shifts towards mostly unlocked. So let's take a look at the price of Jewel right now. Had an all-time high of 23.23. Um, right now, it's had a little retracement, $15. You know, it started off around $5. So this was just an overview video of DeFi Kingdoms and some of the reasons why I'm bullish on it. Um, obviously, it's a much more complex topic to actually talk about playing the game, but let me know if you want me to cover that and do specific guides, etc. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Until next time, have a great day.